क्वेश्चन नंबर 146 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन एक्ट एज बायो वेपन बायो वेपन्स आर हाईली इंफेक्शियस पैथोजेंस देयर स्पोर्स एंड टॉक्सिंस आर यूज्ड अगेंस्ट ह्यूमंस क्रॉप्स एंड एनिमल्स ऑफ द एनिमी कंट्री फॉर मैक्सिमम डिस्ट्रक्शन पर्पस सो हियर Ischerichia coli is incorrect as it is a commensal and it is not harmful to animals. Number 2 Bacillus anthracis is correct as Bacillus anthracis causes anthrax which is a deadly disease. Number 3 Bacillus thuringiensis is also incorrect as toxins from bacillus thuringiensis are used as natural insecticides number 4 lactobacillus is also incorrect as lactobacillus also lives in the gut of humans and is not harmful so the correct answer as a bio weapon becomes option number 2 students this question has been asked multiple times in various neat papers hence it becomes a very important question so now moving on to the next question question number 147 the separation of dna fragments according to their size during gel electrophoresis is possible because of which property of dna number 1 double helix is incorrect as the presence of double helix does not cause its movement during gel electrophoresis number 2 negative charge is the correct option as during gel electrophoresis there are two electrodes an anode and a cathode owing to their negative charge the dna strands move towards the anode terminal number 3 positive charge is also incorrect as it is the negative charge which draws the movement of dna number 4 presence of sugar moiety is also incorrect so the correct answer here becomes option number 2 moving on to the next question question number 148 the separated bands of dna are cut out from agarose gel and extracted from gel piece this step is known as number 1 restriction digestion is incorrect as restriction digestion is the action of restriction endonuclease on dna number 2 spooling is also incorrect as spooling is a method of obtaining dna in the form of a spool after precipitation with chilled ethanol number 3 elution is the correct answer as elution process of extraction and cutting out dna strands from the piece of agarose gel number 4 dna fingerprinting is also incorrect as dna fingerprinting is a technique used to identify living beings on the basis of their dna samples so the correct answer here becomes option number 3 proceeding to the next question Question number 149 Restriction endonuclease is called so because it restricts the growth of bacteriophages in bacteria this is the correct answer restriction endonucleases they restrict the growth of bacteriophages in bacteria and hence safeguard them from infection number 2 cuts one strand of dna at specific position only this is an incorrect statement as restriction endonucleases cut both strands of dna only at palindromic sequences number 3 cuts the ends of both strands of dna at palindromic sequence this is also an incorrect statement as endonucleases cut from within the strand whereas the ends of strands are cut by exonucleases number 4 cleaves phosphodiester bond in dna this is also an incorrect statement as restriction endonucleases are not named so because they cleave phosphodiester bonds in dna so the correct answer here becomes option number 1 move on to the next question question number 150 a piece of dna called tdna is a part of bac that is bacterial artificial chromosome
is incorrect as tDNA is not a part of BAC. Number 2, Ti plasmid is the correct answer. Ti plasmid is the plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens This TI plasmid contains tDNA which is responsible for its pathogenicity. As we know that TI plasmid is responsible for causing crown gall tumor in dicots. Number 3, lambda phage is also incorrect. Lambda phage is a bacteriophage. and it does not contain tDNA. Number 4, phage mint is also incorrect as phage mint is a combination of bacteriophage and plasmid. So, the correct answer becomes option number 2. Moving on to the next question.